everyone, it's Nicole from Nicole Loves Nails. Welcome to my channel. Me and your side, cause I can do this all night. So today's video is for the February polish pickup. So the theme for February is famous movie quotes. If you are new and have no idea what I'm talking about, polish pickup is a monthly indie collaboration featuring many different indie brands that all get together on one website to sell limited edition nail polishes and some other handmade products for one weekend following a specific theme. All the items sold are exclusive to Polish Pickup. Polish Pickup opens up on the first Friday of the month every single month. I'll have more information on Polish Pickup in the description box and for February that is February 3rd at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. So as always down in the description box I'll have links to where you can purchase these items, links to the Polish Pickup social media pages, my social media pages, as well as a link to my blog post on NicoleOfZales.com where I host all of my swatch photos and provide a written review. Also my blog post I have all of the individual brands social media pages and websites if you would like to give them some love as well. And of course, I also have timestamps down in the description box as well. Before we get into today's video, I do want to mention, if you are new around here, hi, I am Nicole. It is wonderful to meet you. And thank you very much for clicking on today's video. Do consider hitting that subscribe button if you enjoy nail polish related content. I open new videos on Tuesdays and Saturdays featuring a mixture of indie, mainstream, as well as boutique nail polish brands. I also go live every Sunday. And also for disclosure, all the products featured in today's video were sent to me by the brands mentioned in today's video. I was also paid for my swatch photos, as always, all thoughts and opinions are my own. Let's get into this video. First up, we have Bee's Knees Lacquer with better than no heart at all. Bee's Knees was inspired by the movie Stardust, and this polish is described as being a pale pink Dumacorn sibling polish with that same glowy green to blue shifting shimmer. It's priced at $13 for 15 ml and has no cap. Better than no heart at all had a fantastic but very sheer jelly formula. This one in three coats, you will still have very obvious visible nail line. Well, your, your whole nail will be visible through this one, even after three coats. The shimmer is very strong and very glowy and just honestly really gorgeous. The shimmer in here is the kind of shimmer that in lower lighting situations, you're not even really going to see like the color of the base. You're just going to see that super strong shimmer. So right now we are seeing the polish in one coat over a variety of base colors. Polish works really well as a topper. I was kind of partial of it over blue, but I do think I like this one the most in three coats on its own. I did not think I was gonna like this one as much as I ended up liking it because it was just so sheer. I wasn't really sure if the shimmer was gonna be enough for me. Really don't know why, because Bee's Knees always does a really good job when they have these super sheer polishes with a strong shifty shimmer. Like that's how you get me to like a sheer polish and this one was no exception. So I swatched this one in three coats plus glossy top coat. Nothing will be difficult to remove. Brush strokes are pretty much non-existent. And next up we have Cameo Colors Lacquers with Honey, Where's My Super Suit? Cameo was inspired by Frozone from the first Incredibles movie and this one is described as a white curly base full of icy aqua and blue shimmer, a dash of holographic sparkle, blue metallic flakies, small caramel metallic glitters, silver hollow micro flakes, and a smattering of black micro flakes. It is priced at $11.50 for 15 ml and has a cap of 105 bottles. This polish had a fantastic curly formula. All of the blue components in here made the palette, like the base color itself appear to be like a super pale blue. Everything spreads out very evenly and easily and you just want top coat to give it a nice glossy finish. It was wasn't too crazy about this one. I couldn't quite put my finger on why that was. Like, I think it's really pretty, but I just, I wasn't loving it as much as I loved the inspiration. So I swatched this one in three coats plus glossy and matte top coats. Removal shouldn't be too bad. You probably could scrub it off without too much of an issue, but you know, I never scrub anything off. Next up, we have Cleonod Cosmetics with I Want an Everlasting Gob Stopper. Cleonod was inspired by Willy Wonka's wonderfully chaotic inventing room, and this one is described as being a colorful, full coverage, flaky explosion featuring red, copper, yellow, lime, turquoise, and blue metallic flakes, red and violet iridescent aurora flakes, holographic shimmer. Polish is priced at $12.50 for 11.5 ml and has no cap. This polish had a really great formula. I did find that on the first coat, I did have to work it a little bit more to get really even coverage for those flakies. But once I kind of spread everything out with my brush, everything was very even. The polish is sheer enough on that first coat that this will work really well as a topper. My photos and video do not show just how holographic this one is. Like I was swatching at night, so I couldn't really show it in daylight. 
but this one is also very holographic. It's going to be a two to three coater depending on your personal preference. Coverage was okay in two coats, but I felt like I could still see a bit of my nail line, so I opted to go in for a third coat, but like that was me being a little picky, so I don't think it's definitely going to be a three coater. Removal won't be overly difficult at all. I still wouldn't want to scrub this one off, but you could without too much issue, I think. Next up, we have Fair Maiden Polish with Even Miracles Take a Little Time. Fair Maiden was inspired by Cinderella, and this one is described as being an ultra pale periwinkle with a pink, gold, green Aurora shimmer. It is priced at $12 for 15 ml and has no cap. This polish had a really good formula. It falls somewhere between being a cream and a crelly. I was really surprised at just how opaque this polish was. However, because it is such a light color, you will want to build it up to get the most even coverage. I did find for me, I did still have some light spots with this one in three coats. It did that kind of thing that once you add top coat that the light spots aren't as visible. I don't know the science behind that, but I find that happens often with like lighter colors. The shimmer in here was so freaking beautiful. This is not at all a color that I would really gravitate towards, but like the shimmer, the shimmer definitely got me and I thought this one was really beautiful. I swatched this one in three coats plus glossy top coat. I could see shorter nails being okay in two coats, especially if you float the brush for all of the coats. Next up, we have Heather's Hues with Truffle Shuffle. Heather's Hues was inspired by the scene of the Goonies where Chunk is made to do the Truffle Shuffle. This polish is described as being a black base filled with a hollow aurora shimmer, neon pink and green glitters, bright pink hollow micro shreds, and a mix of iridescent and multi-chrome flakies. It is priced at $13 for 15 ml and has no cap. Truffle Shuffle had a fantastic formula. I found on my shorter nails, which you are seeing here, coverage was pretty good in two coats, but I kind of preferred it in three. They were out of focus, but look at my catacorn. Look how cute that looks. So yeah, as I was saying, I prefer this one in three coats. I find that you get a really nice depth of color with a third coat that you don't quite get with the second. And here I'm showing it in three coats on my middle nail and then in one coat over black on my ring finger. Personally, I think it looks better built up in three coats than it does in one coat as a topper, but you know, personal preference is a thing. Polishes like this are how we get the exception to me liking a black base polish, like the pink, the glitter, the flakies, the shimmer, all of these things. This is how you get me to like a black base polish. One thing I will say is that Heather really nailed the inspiration when I opened up my PR package and saw this polish, knowing what the theme was, I was like, this is Goonies, this is Chunk, this is Goonies. And I was right. I was very right at the inspiration without even seeing the name of the polish. So that is three coats of Truffle Shuffle plus Glossy Top Coat. I would recommend either a peel off base coat or the soak off method for this one. I think the glitters are likely going to rip up any cotton balls if you try to scrub this one off. Truffle Shuffle was reminding me of a Heather's Hues polish from a few years ago called Flake Flight. The glitter mix is very similar, but you can see like the shimmer effect in here is very different. Also ignore how bad my nails look. <laughs> for February's polish pickup, Heather's Hues is also bringing in her What Is This Sorcery Lotion. For February, it's called Snozberries. This one it was inspired by the hilarious scene from the movie Super Troopers. The snozberries taste like snozberries. So this is priced at $9 for two ounces and has a cap of 100 bottles. Well, jars. So the scent description on this one is top notes of blackberry, apricot, and strawberry blended by middle notes of sweet pear, lavender, and jasmine. If you've seen the movie, you know why this scent has the finish with base notes of earthy green. So... If you know, you know. Ooh. That smells delicious. <laughs> yeah, that smells really, this is my first time sniffing it, by the way. Yeah, it's very fruity and it does have like a more earthy kind of tone. Like I, I can smell like a bit more earthy. It's not sweet and fruity. It's more like sweet, not floral, but you know, nature-y, but not like dirt. It doesn't, it doesn't smell like dirt. <laughs> So every single month, I always say the same thing. This is my favorite lotion in the whole world. I probably should be wearing it right now because my hands are dry as the Sahara. Um, but this is, yeah, I love what is the Sorcery Lotion. It's my favorite lotion in the whole world. Next up, we have KB Shimmer with Tastes Like. KB Shimmer was inspired by the lickable wallpaper from Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. And this one is described as being a bold purple base with a rainbow variety of flakies. It is priced at $12 for 15 ml and has no cap. Tastes Like had a fantastic curly formula. It was slightly on the thicker side, but I found it very easy to work with and that thickness was not at all unexpected. 
This is jam-packed with flakies and you know, those tend to make polishes a little bit on the thicker side. This is a very warm toned purple shade, not my personal preference as far as purples go, but I did really like how the base paired with the flakies. Generally, I find it very difficult to not like a polish when you have like a literal rainbow of flakies. Plus you do get some larger flakies out with this one, which you can kind of see right in the middle of my nail. So yeah, I love the flaky component in this polish, even if I don't really love the shade of purple that this one is. This is gonna be a two to three coater depending on your own personal preference and maybe even nail length. I think on my new shorter nails, I probably would have stopped at two coats, but I did find that in three coats, you get just a smidgen more uh, depth of color with this one than you got in two coats. It does add a little bit of opacity as well. And look at those flakies, perfect with a matte top coat. The flakies will not dry down texture. They're not gonna be overly difficult to remove either. Hi. Um, so if I'm looking disheveled, it's because I am. And I was just about to hit export on this video and realized I forgot to talk about this when I was recording earlier. So KB Shimmer is bringing their amazing sugar scrub this month. And this month, the scent is called Zesty Lemon. As someone who loves lemon scented everything, this was fantastic. It does not, to me at least, it does not smell like lemon cleaning products. To me, it smells more like if you were cooking or baking with lemon. It smells like that kind of lemon. I love this sugar scrub. I'm going to have to go look at my current supply on sugar scrub to verify to myself that I don't need to pick up a backup. I'm very, very tempted. It's priced at $10 for 9.5 ounces and there is no cap on this one. 10 out of 10, highly recommend. If you are like me and you love lemon, hi Stormy, come here. We haven't seen you. So if you are like me, hi Stormy girl, and you like lemon fragrance products, like I would recommend this one. Next up we have Night Owl Lacquer with My Blood, Your Blood, Our Blood. Night Owl Lacquer was inspired by the movie Practical Magic and this is described as being a darkened purple base with a vibrant red to copper to gold shifting shimmer. It is priced at $13 for 15 ml and has no cap. This polish had a fantastic formula, but it does start off and stays a little bit sheer. I did find that in three coats, it built up really nicely for me and I like the opacity. However, in bright direct lighting, you will see uh, your visible nailing a lot easier than in like lower lighting as per usual with like a sheer shimmer polish. The shimmer is super, super, super strong. This is gonna be one of those polishes where the shimmer is so strong that after a couple of coats, you don't really see the base color as well. Like the polish has a very uh, reddish coppery tone on the nail. And I found that I wasn't really seeing the base color other than like on the first coat, other than when I was like out in bright lighting. And so the shimmer wasn't as strong. And then like the base color was more obvious. On the surface, I would say that this is not a very like Nicole kind of color. This is not something that I thought I would like, like based on the description. However, on the nail, you have like a reddish goldish kind of color shift. And I freaking love it. Like gold, I'm there for it. This was really gorgeous. I swatched it in three coats plus glossy top coat. No issues on removal and no problems with staining. Next up, we have Restored by Polish with I Feel the Need, the need for speed. Restored by Polish was inspired by the iconic sunset fighter jet scenes in the movie Top Gun. This one is described as being a sunset orange with a pink orange aurora shimmer. It's priced at $12.50 for 12 ml and has a cap of 100 bottles. This polish had an absolutely fantastic formula. I love how just freaking bright this orange is. Absolutely gorgeous. However, this is a more sheer polish, so you will want to build it up to get the most opacity. I did have very obvious visible nailing with this one, both on the clear part of my nail as well as my natural nail. I do think those of you with longer natural nails will have some visible nailing with it. However, I also think that because so much of my nail is clear, that did exaggerate the level of sheerness of this polish. The shimmer is absolutely gorgeous. I was seeing a pink to orange color. So I, I could have sworn I was also seeing like a hint of green and very extreme angles, but I wasn't able to pick that up with my camera at all, but I wrote in my notes that I was seeing a, a hint of green. I swatched this one in three coats plus glossy top coat. If you have very short nails, I could see you getting away with just two coats because coverage is really even. 
but that third coat does deepen the color on the nail to what you were seeing in the bottle. Well, won't it all be overly difficult to be very easy to remove? I had no problems with staining. If you were like me and have very warm to golden undertones, this will make your hands look a little bit more orangey. Personally, I don't mind in cases like this because this color was absolutely phenomenal. And the final polish is by Twisting Nether Lacquer and it's called Ladies Don't Start Fights, But They Know How to Finish Them. Twisting Nether Lacquer was inspired by Marie from the Aristocats and this is described as being a sheer white polish with a pink gold green ultra aurora shimmer plus holographic micro flakies, black flakies, as well as silver reflective glitter. It's priced at $13.50 for 15 ml and has a cap of 200 bottles. This polish had a really great formula, but it is a little bit on the more sheer side. I do think it's gonna be a two to three coater. It does seem to dry down a little bit more sheer than it applied. So I did use three coats for my full hand swatches. I think if your nails are significantly shorter than mine, you will probably be okay with two coats though. The reflective glitters do give this polish some texture. So I did opt to pair it with a glitter smoothing top coat before my quick dry top coat. And just to note, I had a really hard time trying to show the reflective glitter as well as the shimmer for this one. The owner, Cassie, did tell me that she will be tweaking the batch that customers receive so that the reflective glitter as well as the shimmer are a bit stronger in here. So other than really struggling on trying to photograph the components in this one, I did think this one was really great. As far as top picks go, I think I'm gonna go with the Restored by Polish. This is just such a bright, fun orange that I just can't help but love it. I am so over winter and this bright color just reminds me of like summer days, like before it gets too humid and I just like generally enjoy colors like this. It's bright, it's fun, and it's just very me. My second top pick is going to be the Heather's Hughes Polish called Truffle Shuffle. As someone who really loves the Goonies, like I mentioned in the live swatch, when I opened my PR package and I saw this one, I was trying to guess what Heather chose for inspiration before I read the the name of the polish and I was looking at it and it did make me think of Chunk from the Goonies so I was just very excited that I was not only guessed it perfectly that like Heather just got the colors of his shirt just perfect 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 and then I think my honorable mention is going to go to the Cleonad Cosmetics polish I don't know I, I think this is gonna be my honorable mention or maybe the Night Owl Lacquer I don't know because I just love the rainbow of um, flakies in here I did get to wear this one over the weekend after I swatched it on Saturday and it was just absolutely gorgeous and I kept staring at my nails so I want to put this on because I just really really like this one a lot more than I thought I was going to so I would love to know what everyone else thought of these polishes like have you already done your wish listing for polish pickup if you have I I'd love to know what everyone's planning on picking up. I want to do my wishlist thing on Sunday, but my family did an impromptu birthday celebration for all of us who had January birthdays because there were four of us. So I wasn't able to do my live stream this past Sunday. So Tuesday night, the day this video goes up, I'm going to do a live stream doing my polish pickup wishlist thing because I really want to go through the website and see what's available. So if you would like to join me in like a live stream wishlist thing, feel free to come hang out. Also, yes, I, I did. I did cut my nails, my, my swatch hand is short nails, why? Honestly, I was giving myself a new set on Saturday and Wayne asked me if I wanted to go with him to Tractor Supply. So like I had taken my nails and filed everything down. And then like, as like I'm walking around Tractor Supply, I'm like, I'm actually kind of liking how my nails look like this. And so I was like, you know what? We'll, we'll keep short nails for a little while. I don't know how long this is going to last. <laughs> Probably not super long, but who knows? Who knows? Short nail swatch is coming soon. Well, I guess technically you got them in this video. And like, yeah more coming soon. So just thank you all so very much for watching. Before we end today's video, I do want to give a very special shout out to my channel members, besties. Thank you all so much for your love and support. I just greatly, truly, truly appreciate it. Your names are all on the screen right now. If you would like to join channel members, I have a link for that in the description box. If not, that's fine too. Just hit subscribe, like this video, have not yet already, and I just greatly appreciate all of that. And for everyone else, thank you all very much for watching today's video. Don't forget to give this video a big old like if you enjoyed it. And I, why do I feel so rusty? Like, I don't know what I'm supposed to say. Just thank you all for watching. Have a, have a good one and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.